There was no problem with this launch. It went off last Thursday without a hitch. The problem came when the cargo part of the rocket unhitched from the main booster. It just floated away. There was applause back at Mission Control, but concern from others in the space field. I guess this is a, a situation which could have been avoided. Paul Delaney teaches astronomy at York University and is a little shocked by what China's done. That booster rocket is visible from the ground. It's in a temporary orbit around the globe. It's going to come down. The issue is no one knows where. The chances of hitting a person, hitting a house are small, but they should be infinitesimal. You should be able to control the re-entry and that is not the case. Now, the rocket booster is 32 meters long and five meters in diameter. It's not flying like an arrow, it's tumbling as it goes, basically flipping over and over. It's flashing. That's the reason it brightens and dims in the sky. It catches more of the sun's light as it tumbles. How cool is that? It's really negligent by international standards. Harvard astronomer Jonathan McDowell says China's been somewhat reckless. For a couple of decades, the international community has been careful when sending up something so big. They make sure there's a planned and controlled re-entry. Well, the Chinese Long March 5B rocket has flown twice, and both times it's meant an uncontrolled re-entry. A year ago, another booster rained debris over about 160 kilometers of land in the Ivory Coast. So why take the chance? I mean, it's cheaper. You know, they may have just felt, yeah, Earth is big. It probably won't hit anyone. Let's not bother. Now, the booster's orbit isn't taking it over Canada, so it won't crash here. And McDowell says most of it'll break up on re-entry, so it's not a huge disaster in the making. It's not good if it's headed towards you, but not, he says, evacuate the city bad. Mike Armstrong, Global News.